Hey guys, how you doing? Ron Raymond here from the Ram Report with your free NBA previews and prediction for Wednesday. It is January 11th. Hope you have yourself a good start to your wacky Wednesdays. As always, don't forget to subscribe to our channel by tapping that notification bell in the top right hand corner or hit the subscribe button below this video if you are using a mobile device. Today's podcast is brought to you by your good friends right here at ATSStats.com. All right, let's go to the NBA. The SBI charts, which stands for Sports Betting Index, and what we do in this segment, we take a look at what happened last night in the NBA, the last seven days, and on the year, and you can see on the year, the NBA favorites winning 61.5% of their games, underdogs 38.5, and when it comes to the ATS point spread, well, the underdogs are uh, having a good year. 53.1% of the dogs have covered the spread this year compared to 47% for the favorites. And when you look at the over-under, pretty much balanced at 51.9 for the overs, 48.2 for the unders. And on the seven-day average, 65.6% of the favorites are winning straight up, but only covering 45%. That is a 20% difference. So a uh, big, big difference here when it comes to the straight-up factor and the ATS. And looking at the seven days on the over-unders, the overs have covered the spread 54.3%. But a big night last night in the NBA, 71% of the overs of the games went over the total. A bullish market right now for the over-unders on the one-day average. However, I look at the seven-day average as my figure where I'm looking at the range of where I'm uh, getting a gauge on the last seven days of the NBA betting trends from the uh, sports betting markets because when you're betting into the uh, the NBA, you're looking at the market psychology and like my good friend Ross Benjamin says all the time, you got to think like a bookmaker and this way you got to uh, understand what the markets are looking for and what you want to bet into when you are wagering into the markets. Now, speaking of the markets, the last three days, 71% of the favorites have cashed in. So we are very bullish when it comes to the straight up factor. But when you look at the point spread on the three day average of underdogs having a good day at 60.3, but on the seven day average, this is what I look for. 45.7 45.7 and 54.3 and you can see my range for bullish and neutral is between 42.8 and 57.1 for a neutral market and 57.2 to 100 percent on a bullish market and 0 to 42.7 for bearish now here's my wagering tip of the day is that anytime i look at the seven day average and i'm in a bearish or bullish market i reduce my amount of units because what goes up must come down you can't predict when when the the streaks are going to continue with the the favorites and the underdogs but the one thing you can control is how much money you're going to bet into the uh, the games and that's why to me from a market psychology between you and the bookmaker look for neutral conditions in the betting markets that's your tip 101 in nba today so let's get right to the nba matchups Let's kick it off in Detroit where the Minnesota Timberwolves going to take on the Pistons as a 7-point road favorite. The over-under is listed at 230. ATS forecast system play going to go mini in this one. 115-111, the over-under at 227.58. So we do like this game to stay under the total. Minnesota coming in on a four-game straight up and ATS win streak. While the Pistons, well, they're uh, they're coming in struggling. They lost their last three games straight up and against the point spread. So we will see what happens tonight at the Little Caesars Arena. The Kogos at 49%. As you know, Kogos stands for chance of game going over the total. At the Capital One Arena in Washington, you got the Wizards, a home uh, home underdog, one point home underdog. And for the Chicago Bulls, well, the uh, the total is at 229. The Bulls are 19 and 22 on the season, while the Wizards 17 and 24. So misery loves company, and they're going to meet tonight in Washington. And we do like the Bulls to win by one, 114 and 113. The over under at 227.8, a 55.4 percent chance of winning though for the Wizards, who are currently on a three game straight up and ATS losing streak. Coming off that loss to the Pelicans two nights ago, 132 to 112 was the final. While the Bulls, well, they lost to the Boston Celtics. A respectable score, 107 and 99 was the final. Speaking of the Boston Celtics, big win in the last game against the Bulls, 107 99. While the Pelicans, they beat the Wizards, 132 to 112. And tonight, they are a nine and a half point road underdog. The over under is at 231. ATS forecast system play going to go Boston in this one. 119 to 111, the over under at 231.6. So we do like this game to go a hair over the total. Boston coming in on a three game straight up winning streak. However, they haven't covered the spread in their last two games, and uh, we're giving them a 74% chance of winning tonight against the Pelicans, who are off that loss to the Wizards. Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Atlanta Hawks at the State Farm Arena tonight in the ATL. And you can see the Bucks, a minus two and a half point road favorite. The over under is listed at 236. ATS forecast system play. Going to go with the home underdog in this one. And that's the Atlanta Hawks. 
118 to 116, the over under to land on 234.48. So it looks like we have this game going under the total. Looking at the Atlanta Hawks last game, a win over the Clippers, 112 to 108, while the Bucks they beat the New York Knicks at Madison Square Garden. 111 to 107 was the final. That game was on Monday night. And the strength of schedule for Atlanta, look at this, 63.2%. That means the last seven games that they played, the teams they played, that's the combined win percentage. So Atlanta Hawks may be a good value play here tonight because they are coming in battle-tested when you look at their strength of schedule. New York Knicks looking to rebound off that loss to the Bucks in their last game are a five-point home court favorite, the over-under at 227.5. And we do like New York to win this one, 117 to 109, the over-under at 227.5. So we do like this game to, uh, wow, look at that, 227.5 is the total. So pretty much right there on the uh, the total, but we got it a hair over at, two, uh, <laughs> it's a game of inches, right? 227.58, so we do like it to go over. Keep an eye on that total today. Let's see if it goes up or down. And uh, we did have the New York Knicks listed at minus 2.7 on their value index. And you can see they're right there at minus 5. So a bit overvalued tonight against the Pacers. San Antonio Spurs taking on the Memphis Grizzlies. And the Grizzlies are running in hot. They're a seven-game win streak, but they haven't covered the spread in the last two games. They're a 13 half point favorite here tonight against the Spurs. Totals at 238 and a hook. And we're going to lean with the Memphis Grizzlies by 12. 125 to 113, the over under at 239.4. So, would you like this game to go over the total? An 80.9% chance of winning here for the Grizzlies compared to 19.05 for the Spurs, who are 13 and 28 on the season, only 3 and 7 straight up in their last 10 games, while the Grizzlies, they are 8 and 2. Houston Rock is taking on the Sacramento Kings. The Kings, a winner in the last game against the Magic, 136 to 111, while Houston lost to the T Wolves, 104.96. The Kings, a nine half point home court favorite this evening. And we're going to lean with Sacramento in this one. 120 to 114, the over under at 235.4. So we do like this game to go under the total. Houston Rockets coming in on a seven game losing streak. They've lost their last three against the point spread. And like Joe Namath would say, struggling. yeah, they are struggling big time this season at 10 and 30. All right, so I know one team was not struggling, and they didn't struggle last night, and that's the Phoenix Suns with a big win over the Golden State Warriors. In fact, they were a double-ditch favorite uh, underdog in that game, and they uh, came out on top 125-113. to The Denver Nuggets' last contest, well, they're on a three-game win streak right now, and they beat the Lakers 122-109, to and we do have a... Uh, Denver Nuggets win tonight, 118-108, to the over-under at 227.8. Now, the thing that's going to be interesting in this matchup, how does Phoenix rebound off that big upset win as a double-digit do- uh, double dog? And uh, we'll see if they can go back-to-back back with a win here tonight in Denver. All right, let's take a look at some of your winning NBA trends here that we have at the ATS Stats website. And I like this one right here. Anytime the Washington Wizards are picking the minus three home favorite, coming off three overs since 1996, uh, they are 11 and 1 straight up, and that's good for 91.67%. And folks, always remember trends are your friends, but they don't pay the rent. And if you want to get more NBA trends, you go to atsstats.com. Look for the uh, NBA trends the logo right here with the Denver Nuggets. 50 winning NBA trends for January 11th, and you can get that at the website just by visiting for free at atsstats.com. All right, let's take a look at the sports betting um, markets. And uh, as Mike Singletary would say, Let's try to give you some winners right now with the Rain Report Sports Betting Option. What we do in this segment is we take a look at what are your top situational handicapping spots. Now, let's, hey, this just in, sports betting is kind of hard sometimes. And, uh, you know, you can get streaky, uh, you know, win streaks, losing streak. But at the end of the day, you got to do your homework and you got to see if the team is in a good handicapping situation. And the way I gauge it is I like to look through cycles. I think what goes up must come down. Teams go through cycles, the performance cycles. And if you follow the Ram Report, you know we have the five golden rules. And uh, let's take a look at the, the neutral cycle for the Sacramento Kings tonight against Houston. thing I don't like, though, they're a little bit chalky at 9.5 against Houston. Totals at 238.5. They've been neutral for 44 days. You know what that means? They're either 3-4, and 4-3 four, four and three in their last seven games. So that means they win one, lose one, you know, win two, lose one, the, you know, so on and so forth, right? So they're taking on Houston tonight, and guess what? Anytime they play a team with a losing record of 50% or lower, or to be exactly 49.9%, well, they, uh, they beat those teams 70% of the times. Their last two games have gone over the total. They are 21-18 and 18 on the year. So that trade is paying dividends with uh, the Pacers last year. And uh, 
at uh, home this year. They are 12 and 9, and we're giving them a 73.3% chance of winning tonight against the Houston Rockets. I had them listed at uh, 6.25 on my daily market value index, and you can see they are overvalued tonight at 9.5. All right, uh, you can get the Rain Report light version each and every day by visiting the website at atsstats.com. And if you do like the uh, Rain Report, you're going to love this one. Because uh, what you get here on the uh, Rain Report Light version, you get the last 10 games straight up ATS, the over under, the chance of winning, the chance of covering the Kogo, the market's spread value, and also the PVI, the parity value index. But here's the thing I like the best. Down here, I got this amazing trend on the, uh, and it's not even trend, it's a league system trend. Now, people ask me all the time, Ron, what's the difference between a team trend and a league trend? Well, a team trend is like this one right here. When the New York Knicks are a home team versus a conference opponent after a non-division game coming off a loss, and it's a one game, it was a home loss, 8-2 and two against the point spread, but that's when New York's in this situation, right? But when you look at a league system trend, that means every NBA team that's in the exact situation that the New York Knicks are in tonight, and then they're a three and a half to six point home favorite last three years after a conference game, and they're playing a conference opponent and they're coming off a loss. Look at this 41 17 and two against the point spread. So, you know what? I think the New York Knicks might be worth a look here tonight. And what's the line? Line's at minus five. If that line goes down a little bit lower, check the money line out. The one thing I like though is I don't like laying a lot of points, and if I can see that the, uh, the the money line is manageable and it's in the uh, my ballpark, then I'll play the money line instead of sweating out the last 10 seconds uh, free throws, right, when the the, uh, the the foul happens. All right, so there you have it. That is the NBA report here for a uh, Wednesday. It is a uh, wacky Wednesday, January 11th. Hope you enjoyed the show today. And again, if you do enjoy the show, hit that like button. And if you're new to the Ram Report, don't forget to subscribe by hitting that uh, the subscription button at the top, the the bell. And uh, if you're on a mobile device, hit the subscribe. And this way, every time we uh, release a video, you will get notified that the Rain Report is now ready for your listening pleasure. All right, folks, uh, as always, a little Ric Flair for you. Shop for value, play those percentages. I'll see you back here shortly with another Rain Report. Cheers.